In this video, we're gonna be looking at several types of shaman drums, or what they are commonly called buffalo drums, uh, hoop drums, different kinds of drums. Welcome to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher. I'm gonna be giving you guys a look and listen and some close-ups of uh, four different types of drums in this video, and we're gonna get right into it. This drum is made by uh, Wayne the Drum Maker, and it is, I believe it's a 16 inch, and it's got elk hide, so it's pretty cool. It's uh, handmade, look at the back, and it's just beautiful. He puts as an option, you can have a stone in the back for a handle, so I like that because it's really comfortable. You can grab onto it in different ways. I mean, it just depends. You know, see, that feels good for me right there, like that. Uh, it's all natural. He does some natural dyes too. This one I think is just natural. And I'm going to play it with this uh, type of mallet. And this is a typical type of mallet. I also have different mallets here that I'm going to share with you. So let's get into a sound sample. I'm going to switch over to my other mic and here it is. Now I'm going to give you uh, a few samples of other types of mallets. Uh, I'm going to start off with this one. This is a rattle mallet. And uh, then I've got this one, which is a, uh, I call this a circle mallet. This is one I had made with, with Vic Firth a few years ago, but it's just a, like a furry kind of mallet. And then we've got a jack stick. Uh, this one, what is the model? I forgot, but it's like a Kind of like yoga mat material on a stick. And then we've got this one, which is the, I know this is called the big boom. And this is like yoga mat material wrapped with felt. So I'm gonna go through all four of the, let's call it alternative mallets right now. Here's the rattle mallet. Soft furry mallet. Jack stick number one. And the big boom. Okay, so as you can hear, the mallets do make a difference. Let's go on to our next drum. I've got this one, and this one is a uh, cowhide drum. It's huge. Uh, and you can see the wrapping on the back is pretty robust. <laughs> uh, and this was made by a friend of mine who's up in Canada. And this one, it'll be a little different because the head is quite a bit thicker. Uh, let's see what it sounds like with the traditional mallet. And then I'm just going to go through all the mallets again. And I've got two more drums after this, so don't go away. And rattle mallet. Furry mallet. Jack sticks, uh, yoga mat. And the big boom.
Something I want to point out is that a smaller mallet is going to sound harder on a larger drum. And we'll, I have a smaller drum coming up in a minute, you'll see what I mean. And also a larger mallet is going to sound softer, right? So Because there's more area and it gets dispersed. So you're hearing that with like the difference between these two, the two jack sticks mallets, where one has a lot of padding and the other one not so much. So it's just something to note if you are going for a certain sound, you, uh, you might want to choose a certain mallet to match. You know, if you want it more percussive, then you want to go with a smaller mallet, possibly, certainly a harder mallet. And then if you want it to be more resonant and gentle and soft uh, and not as with as much attack, then you want to go with a bigger mallet, either like the big boom mallet or the, or the soft mallet, or maybe the, the leather wrapped mallet. This one's kind of in between, I think. Let's go on to another drum. This one was gifted to me um, by a friend of the family. And you can see it's got the classic construction. Um, it's got twine and then it's wrapped very nicely in the center. It's, just, it's kind of a very neatly made drum. It's also round, unlike the prior two drums which were made uh, with straight slats of wood. So they were either hexagons or octagons or something, a gone. <laughs> Here's what this one sounds like. Rattle mallet. Soft, uh, fluffy mallet. Jack sticks. Stick. And the big boom. point out um, that there is kind of a sweet spot in any drum and uh, it's not in the center so you guys do not hit a drum right in the middle that is a node or a dead spot so when you go to play a drum and this goes for pretty much any drum that you're looking to get a resonant sustained tone from you want to strike it around I would say just a third of or halfway out from the center to the edge, around there. Maybe more towards the center. If you can see on this drum, I'll try to show you the best I can. Let's start right in the middle. And I'm, I know I'm using my talking mic right now, but I think you can hear it okay. Uh, let's start right in the middle and just check the tone. And now I'm moving slightly towards the edge. about halfway and now closer to the edge so close to the edge you might want to use that for softer sounds uh, but it's not really that resonant and then as we move in the resonance increases I think it maxes out kind of close to the center but then if we go right in the middle uh, the actual resonance goes down. To me, it has this kind of rubbery sound in the middle. I don't know if that makes sense. Also, there's going to be a uh, beats per minute that is going to resonate with the frequency of the head. And so um, when you play a drum, and you can play whatever tempo suits you and the music, you know, and the occasion, but if you, uh, one of the things you could try is when you get your hands on a drum, and you have a chance to experiment, try changing the uh, repetition rate, uh, the beat rate, 
and see if there's one where the, the mallet kind of bounces the same every time, and that will tell you that your strikes are kind of matching in some way, and I'm not, I don't know, it's gonna be some fraction or some, you know, relationship, some ratio to the head vibration, because the heads on these drums actually move quite a lot, and if you catch it kind of in the same point in the frequency, you know, in, the, in that wave, then it should feel the same every time. If you're not catching it in the same up or, you know, up and down, back and forth uh, kind of frequency movement of the head uh, with the mallet, then it's gonna feel different, right? And so that's something you can experiment with. I think at the faster, the faster tempos, it's gonna be more apparent. But anyway, that's something that you can experiment with. Now, we're got, we have one more drum. Um, before we get to this one, I want to ask you guys to please like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications and join us at patreon.com. If you haven't already, there's a lot more over there, including lots of courses that you can start for free right now. So click the links below this video and you can check out courses for free over there. You can uh, become a free patron and just get like updates and notifications. And then if you want, you can join at the courses tier and get access to tons of videos, tons of courses, a lot more stuff over there. Tons of stuff, you can go look at it. Patreon.com slash Kalani. All right, this is a drum that is from Mojave Drums, and I still have the tag on it. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Uh, this is made by Mojave Drums, and uh, I got this a number of years ago, and it's made from a gourd, it's made from a calabash. I think it's as absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it reminds me of a mag wheel, too, so I'm a fan of <laughs> both of those. Uh, it's got beautiful cloth and a kind of a, a sort of a West African, you know, sabar, djembe, bugarabu type um, rope tuning. So similar to a djembe. And then this one, I believe, has a goat skin head. It seems like goat to me. It might be, could be deer or, or something like that, but I think it's goat skin and it has a great sound, awesome sound. So again, I'm gonna use the same mallets that I've been using. Some of these are gonna be a little big for this drum, but here we go. Here's the rattle mallet. Fluffy mallet. Jack stick. you guys so again um, you can hear lots of differences between these different drums all sorts of drum options out there um, by the way I think the third one I showed you this one I believe I want to say this is cow hide only because it's very hard like this backside this is all like very dry and hard um, so I don't think it's goat or another kind of skin um, but uh, if you go to, if you, if you work with the drum maker, like Wayne the drum maker, uh, you can switch mics. You can often um, ask for specifics, you know, design, whether you want um, a certain type of head uh, or you want it dyed or whatever. And of course the drum size and then the mallets, maybe you can have some choices there. Uh, I would recommend having a variety of mallets. You can, you, you guys just heard that the mallet um, does make a difference quite a bit. So at least you wanna have maybe a, a medium and then a soft mallet, uh, maybe maybe a harder one. 
The, I, I like the idea of a rattle mallet. This rattle mallet, to me, is like lost some of its ratability. <laughs> it feels like it's struggling to rattle. But, uh, you know, that might be a nice idea or, or maybe just hold a rattle, you know, uh, and, and do the playing with your mallet. All right, what do you guys think? Um, any preference? Any favorites? Any recommendations? Leave it in the, in the comments below. See us at patreon.com slash Kalani. I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club. We'll see you guys in another video.